Hi everyone and welcome to this beginner's tutorial of Perfect CRM. If you are new to the customer relationship management tool or just exploring the Perfect CRM for the first time, this video is for you. Now Perfect CRM is a powerful open source CRM designed to help businesses manage customer lead projects, invoices and support ticket all in one place. Whether you are a freelancer, small business owner or just part of a growing team. Perfect CRM offers the tool you need to streamline your workflow and grow your business. In this video, we will walk through everything you need to know to get started with Perfect CRM step by step. So let's dive in. To get started, you will need to install Perfect CRM. Visit the official website, which is let me take you there. Once you just go to Google, here you have to search for Perfect CRM. M, okay, it should be in small case. CRM.com. And this is the page where you will come up here. Just go and click on it. Now, here you have to just go and click on buy now on the top right side corner. Then only you will be able to, you know, use it. Now, once you just go and click on buy now, here you will come to Envato Market and just go and click on secure checkout. By the way, if you use a link which is given in the description, it's an affiliate link, so you can buy it at a heavy discount as well as we will get a small commission on it. Now let's get back to the topic here. After purchasing, download the installation file, follow the step guide to install it on your server. If you are not tech savvy, consider using a hosting provider like Hostinger or SiteGround for easier installation. When you install, login into your perfect CRM which I have already did dashboard with the admin credentials you just created during setup. Now the dashboard is your command center as you can look over it on my screen, giving you a snapshot of your business activity including recent deals, tasks and customer interactions. Before diving into these features, let's configure basic settings. So here in the last, in the bottom, you will see this option of setup and just go and click on or usually you will find the settings gear icon on the top right side corner. Just go and click on there. Now here you will set up all this information. For example, this is a company information, right? This is a general, by the way. You can come up here and you can change the company name, right? You can put your company name here, company main domain, right on all the stuff. The real changes start from company information, add your business name, as you can see here, the address, city, state, and you can fill up all these details and as well as the logo and contact details. The next thing is to add localization. So here you can change your date format depending upon on which country you're using this up and as per your preference. You can also define your default currency and tax rate. So here, if you just go to the email, this is the invoices part, right? So this is a finance part here. You can just go and change it. For example, if you want to change the invoice number prefix, so I, I can just go and change it here, right? For example, here it should be to UB so I can put it next invoice number should be this it should start from here invoice due after 30 days so you can change some of these basic details as per your requirement you can also integrate your email which is here on the left side you will see this email section let me just leave this up right and automatically I will be here I can change this email encryption right SMTP to send invoices and notification and here you can also just go and change the permission section, right? For example, you can assign roles to your team member, admin, staff, and client. So this is really useful as well as there is more option here. So you can just go and always change this information depending upon you. Proper setup ensures the invoice, email, and permission align with your business need. Now let's start with customer modules. So let's just go back to the dashboard here. On the left side, you will see a lot of options. Right, uh, I have already explained what the dashboard is used for. This is a customer section. Now in the customer module, if you just go and click on here in the sidebar and select new customer, as you can see here, I have some of the customer which is shown up here. If I just go and click on new customer in the sidebar and uh, fill, it will ask me all the details. For example, the company name, the VAT number, phone number, website, groups and currency and default language, right? address, city, and some of this information of the customer. This is a billing and shipping, so I can add this uh, address here, right? Now, once I fill up all this information, right, um, assign them a group, for example, VIP or prospect, and add a note for each context. For example, you can see this is one of the customer, okay, I don't wanna delete this. For example, I want to view it. 
so this is a bear and here you can see i've added all this information the customer details billing and the customer admins right now if i just go to the contact sections as well as there is some of this information right um, for example these are the two contact person from this company which is payer and this is one of the proposal the contracts and everything so this is really interesting you can add this now for lead go to the lead module here this is a lead option on the left side so you can just go to the lead module create a new lead here these are some of the old leads which have just created and you can assign a source for example website referral and track their progress through the sale pipeline use the kanban view to you know drag and drop lead and this is how for example switch to kanban so if i just go and click on here automatically all my leads will be converted into the kanban board right if you don't like it you can switch to list section so this is some of the slide which i've mentioned here and you can move this and if i just go and click on view automatically it will show me all this information the description as well as right now the visual pipeline help you to prioritize leads and close deals faster now prefix crm project module help you to manage right so let me take you to the project section it help you to manage client work click projects on the top left side corner as you can see here let me show you some of this example right and this is one of this example if you want to create it it's really easy you can just go back click on new project and you can assign a customer the project name obviously and set a start and end date add tasks to break down the work assign team member and set deadline use the gantt chart right let me just go back up uh, let me show you you can add here more information if you want to and once you go back here so let me leave this and here I can just go and click on Gantt. So it will show me in the Gantt chart, view to visualize timeline and dependencies. Client can also log in in their portal to track progress and upload file. Now project keeps everyone aligned, ensuring deadlines and meet and client stay informed. Let's move to the invoices section. So here you will find this invoices section. Okay, where is invoice? So if you're not able to find the invoice, no worries. Just go and click on sale. A drop down will come up here. Then you can see a lot of option proposal, estimates, invoices, payments, credit note, and item. Here you can just go to the invoices section. And let me show you some of those invoices. Example, first of all. So if I just go and click on view, automatically this is a one of the invoice, right? If you want to create a new invoice and add an item here, just go and click on create. And go to the invoice module right and this is how where you can create the invoice you can select your customer right and you can build show you can fill up this information invoice date due date as well as on the right side allow payment module from which payment um, module or uh, payment handle he is using to pay right and some of this if you have sold some of the service or products you can just enter it here client can pay online through integrate gateway like paypal or stripe track payments in real time and send automated reminders for overdue invoices so automation reduce manual work and ensure you get paid free now here you will also find this option of support on the left side so support module let you handle customer queries very efficiently when a client submit a ticket via your website it appears here you can see i just this is an example let me just open this up so here you can see this was the note right it was just possible it has finished this short speech they are all spo um, you know stopped and look along the course so i will just see what was the cant went on spreading out to so actually this is an open message from the customer i can just reply it here from here right and then once the reply is done i can upload some of the documents i can also add some money in cc from my team member and just go and go and click on add response and click on save Right? So this is really easy because assigning tickets to team members, set priorities and track uh, resolution status, you uh, use canned response. So let me just take you, this is a weekly stat, right? And uh, this is really, it, it just make me really easy for me just to view because there's one ticket open, one in a progress, one answer, one hold and one closed, right? And happy customers is equal to repeat business. This module ensure no query falls through the crack. Now Prefix CRM offers powerful reports because this is really important. So let's go to the report section. Once you go and click on report, there's a separate section for each report. For example, this is a report of sales. So let me take you here. Now sales performance by employee or client. 
avoids you know it analyzes a business and here you will find invoice egging and payment trends project profitability for example here let me take you to the invoice report a total income it will show me for the year 2025 and it show me the exact income here I can just go and change if I'm using for perfect CRM for a very long time then it will show me for different years right payment modules the transaction and everything it show me in the chart section that is really nice this is a customer report and everything now you can also export this report right which is completely up to you how you want to do this and it become really easy now for example I can just go to the in expense versus income section okay so let me take you here expense versus income and here it will show me how much was the expense and how much it was the profit or the income right total income and the expense right you can see here this is really interesting and you know this insight help you make data driven decisions to grow your business because this is really important right now perfect crm help is highly customizable now what i mean by customizable we can just go to the setup option here and i can change it for example i want to go to the customer this is a group section now here I can just go and change it. I can add customer field to customer invoices or projects. You can see here, right, invoices and projects and everything. Now you can also install third party integrations, for example, Slack, Google Drive or Zapier. You can also customize the dashboard with widgets that matter most to your business. Now tailor perfect CRM to fit your unique workflow. There's a no coding required. So you can just watch the video and you will get an idea how to do this. And that's it. You now know how to use perfect CRM and to manage customers, project invoices and support all in one place. Whether you're tracking leads, automating invoices or analyzing performance, perfect CRM is a game changer for businesses for all sizes. If you found this tutorial very useful and make sure to buy if you really, you know, if you really want to buy the perfects and if you want to use it, you can buy it from the link given in our description. It will help both of us to keep bringing such quality content just for you. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe.